Yeah, YouTube! What's the deal, man? Jay here back in another video. Now today, bruh, we are gonna be talking about shooting. Now, throughout 2K22, the community has acknowledged me as one of the best shooters on this game. And if you don't wanna listen to them, bruh, you can just open up the stats because numbers don't lie, bruh. 72.5% from three. And yeah, you know what I'm saying? A lot of it is due to skill. You gotta be able to be skilled a little bit to shoot, but a lot of it is contributed to the badges I use. So, today we're gonna be talking about the top five badges that JM Amir use in the park to start going crazy. So, let's get it, man. Gang! Now, this is how this video gonna go, right? Here's five badges I feel like are the most important on this game, bruh. And I know everybody don't got the same loadout. Not everybody can get some Hall of Fame. So, if I had a badge on the list, just max it out, bro. So, you can be the maximum best ability of a shooter, bruh. So, let's go. Now, the first badge that I say is the best, hands down, is High Zone Hunter, bro. High Zone Hunter literally has to be the best badge in the game, and I'm gonna tell you why. All right, check it. Now, if you get High Zone Hunter, you get a boost from every spot that you have a High Zone on on the court, right? So say you get a High Zone in every single spot on the court, you're literally getting boosted to shoot. You know what I mean? Something that you're already gonna do. If you have a High Zone in one spot, that means that you probably shoot there a lot. So why wouldn't you wanna get a boost for shooting somewhere you already shoot at? Oh, I like shooting at the top of the key? Come on, bro. let me get a plus five boost for that. You know what I'm saying? Let me get in that corner spot and compare it with other badges that I'm gonna talk down the line on, you know what I'm saying? Stay and watch the whole vid. But, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a boost for every single spot I shoot at because I'm gonna do it anyway. So, you for sure want this at the maximum capability so that you can get the most boost for things that you already do, man. Let's go. The next best thing that I got on my list is stop and pop. Now, I understand that there's gonna be centers that gonna watch this, so a lot of y'all not gonna be, you know what I'm saying, dribble, dribble, stop, pop, but a lot of y'all boys that watch me, you know what I'm saying, subscribe to the channel, best content on next gen, are gonna be guards locked now. So, a stop and pop badge is very pivotal because a lot of people are gonna dribble off, I mean, I'm sorry, a lot of people are gonna shoot right off the dribble. So, why, just like High Zone Hunter, why wouldn't you want to get a good little boost for something that you already do? Now, stop and pop works in various ways, bro. You can do it off of a screen you can do it off of iso you can do it off of a momentum a combo anytime that you're dribbling the ball and stop within the first three seconds of you stopping you're gonna get that bash to pop up so if you already have on high zone hunter like i just i just suggested you add stop and pop you already getting a substantial percentage increase so it's no it's not it's not a it's not a it's not a mystery why my three point percent is so high is because i got all these badges working for me with being able to you know what i'm saying just green a shot bro you know that just touch now i had trouble placing this on this list because i feel like this badge is so overpowered bruh i was gonna put it over with stop and pop but you know what i'm saying we're gonna we're gonna rank it down a little bit because not everybody take these type of shots and that's blinders bruh now this is a badge that has taken over the game on 2k22 taking over the game bro it's better than dead eye it's better than any badge in the in the in the in the in the, in the past when it comes to shooting contested shots all right now what blinders does is take away this and this now if you guys don't know what i'm pointing at it's the angles of which people try to contest you bro anybody coming from the left the right diagonal left or right canceled out bro i need y'all to max this badge out as best as possible bro you know what i mean on my five nine i got i got hall of fame so with that being said if i'm open bro and somebody tries to contest late if i'm open bro and not really open bro it's still gonna be green bro because you are not within my sight i have on blinders you know what i mean and all i can see is the rim my baby you know what i'm saying so I need you guys to throw that thing on, bro. You know how you can level up? You already a knockdown shooter, right? But can you make the tough ones? You know what I mean? That comes into the three point percent because it's not as much as a risk anymore. So I can maintain a good three point percent while taking these contested shots that can really alter the game. You feel me? Next badge I'm gonna talk about is very controversial. All right, a lot of people feel like they don't need it, but me personally, I've been rocking with it all year. I take it off and I put it back on, and I can tell the difference. And that's sniper, bro. Now a lot of people say. Uh, White's gonna win regardless. And I and I beg to differ, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a lot of times that you're gonna need this badge. And I've been using it. And like I said, bro, I don't wanna be that guy 
but come on, man, check the percentage, check the numbers, dog. I hit a lot of whites. I hit a lot of whites. I don't shoot a lot of whites, but if I do need it, it's dropping, bro. So I recommend you throwing that sniper, especially as somebody that's just trying to learn how to shoot, bro. Throw that thing on, bro. It can bail you out because it's a lot of times that you hit that perfect green window and 2K just don't, you know what I'm saying? 2K don't recognize it. And that's when that sniper come in and allow you to drop, you know what I'm saying? That straight torch. So throw that thing on, bro. And then the last badge I want to talk about, bro. The last badge I want to talk about is something that I need you. You know what I mean? You don't even know about it. You ain't even know this. You thought it was going to be something else on the list. But it's corner specialist, dog. Now, y'all see my gameplay. Y'all see that I'm the fade king. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to see more content on that. But, bro, I feel like once you learn how to fade... Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me take it back. Let me take it back. Corner specialist. I fade a lot in the corner. And the reason is because I have corner specialist circus threes. But more importantly, corner specialist, bro. When I get in the corner, get Hall of Fame high zone hunter, Hall of Fame corner specialist, put those things together, bro. It's basically money, bro. It's basically a standard shot. So I need a lot of y'all to learn how to shoot these fades, bro, because it's going to open up your game. It's going to allow you to get your shot off way quicker. And it's very unpredictable. You feel me? So throw that badge on at the max capability and yeah uh, you're gonna be out there hitting bro if you made it in the video man make sure you guys like comment subscribe bro 25k on the way bro i love y'all i'm out